Hey guys, it's Joe Levi with PocketNow.com. The Nexus 4 has been out for a very short amount of time and already we're asking, are there any ways to make it faster? With a quad-core 1.5 processor in it, there are a couple things we can do. Let's go take a look. First up is unlocking the device. Most people I know have their Androids pre-locked, so you have to put in a pattern or type in a pin. Well, face unlock is out. It's been out since Ice Cream Sandwich. It's just been kind of slow. Check this out. Just like that, my device is unlocked and opened up because this processor is just so fast. So you can have a fairly secure login and still be able to get into your device really, really quickly using face unlock. That's tip number one. Tip number two, don't unlock if you don't need to. What do I mean by that? Well, over here, your power button can instantly lock your device so that the next time you turn it on, even if it's two seconds later, you have to push that button again. So uncheck that. Now you don't have that. It will default back up to this. It's going to automatically lock how long after it goes to sleep? 5 seconds, 15, I've found 30 works really well for me. So whenever I turn off my device, or if my device goes to sleep, when I wake it back up, I don't have to unlock it because that threshold wasn't hit. Only lock when you need it to. That's tip number two. A lot of times when we're turning on our device, it's to check on some information, like the time, your calendar, the weather, whatever it may be. Well, you can do that now with lock screen widget. Simply turn on your device and before it unlocks, you can now go in and look at date and time. You can swipe to the side. This is a plugin called Beautiful Widgets. Yes, the same Beautiful Widgets that we've shown you in the past now has a lock screen widget. You can even add more stuff. To do that, you've got to unlock your device. So I'll do that with face unlock. Now down here we can throw in our calendar, digital clock, Gmail, messaging, even sound search for what that, to find out what that song is. Let's go ahead and put Gmail on there and we'll put my priority inbox. So now my priority inbox is right up at the top. One other thing that you can do that's really nice is from here, swipe to the side and you can get to your camera very fast, very easy. It's just right there. You can take a picture of the floor or something more interesting. That's our next tip. Next up, take advantage of Google Now. Although it did come with ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, and newer versions have added some cool features that are really helpful. That's a whole different topic, but just to show you how quick and powerful it is, send text to Alfred Test. The game has been canceled. And just like that, I have a text message for Alfred Test at his mobile number saying that the game has been canceled. Very quick, very easy, really, really convenient. You can send emails, calendar appointments, all kinds of stuff just using Google Now. So up until now, these have been usability speed enhancements, ways that you can use your Nexus 4 to save time, to make it go faster in your everyday use. How can we make it actually go faster? For that, we're gonna need root and we're gonna need a custom ROM. The one that I've chosen here is Cyanogen Mod. Let's go into settings. And our first option is called ZRAM. And it's in the memory settings of performance. Go into that, accept the disclaimer and memory management. ZRAM compresses memory for increased virtual capacity. And yes, it does require a reboot. I've got it set at 18%, which is the default. You can bump it up a little bit more, though I haven't seen any speed improvement by going up to 26. I haven't seen that much by going down to 10. Now, this is leveraging the fast processor that we have in here to compress stuff as it goes into and decompress stuff as it comes out of RAM. The processor is fast enough to handle that. This just makes it look like we have even more. It helps a little bit, but your mileage may vary. Try it out. Just remember, you've got to reboot between settings for the settings to take effect. Our last tweak for you is to allow purging of assets, which lets bitmap memory assets be purged to free up more RAM whenever it's needed. Toggling this on or off does require that you reboot for the changes to take effect, but once you do that, especially in combination with ZRAM, you're going to notice a significant improvement in benchmark scores when running with these two things 
set up. So there you go. We've got a couple of tweaks for you to use to help actually speed up the performance of your Nexus 4, along with a couple things you can do to speed up your experience with the Nexus 4. That's just a handful of things we know, so now it's your turn. Head over to pocketnow.com and leave your favorite way to improve performance on your Nexus 4 over in the comments on the article. Follow us over on Twitter. We are at PocketNowTweets. If you want to follow me, I'm at Joe Levi. Make sure you head over to PocketNow and, of course, give the video a big thumbs up if you liked the tweaks and the optimizations that you saw here today. For PocketNow, showing off how you can get more speed out of your Nexus 4 experience, I'm Joe Levi.